the first time I heard about Huntington's disease was my mum was ill. Eventually she got diagnosed with it. We'd never heard of it. So the first thing you do is Google it. And when you see it, you sit and pray that that's not what she has. Me and my sister both decided to get predictively tested. Um, my sister was clear, so that's fine. I unfortunately had the gene and yeah, everything snowballed from there basically. I met Debbie at work. We used to work in the same school kitchen. Between us, we've got four kids and from them, we've got eight grandkids. <laughs> Pre Huntington's, it was just, we just had normal lives. Um, I used to love cycling, love snowboarding, I liked to play football, ice hockey, lots of different sports. Once you've been predictively tested, cool. once you know what the symptoms are, you start looking for them. My first symptom was depression, mood swings. I had a hard time at work, I was struggling to cope with things being changed at work, I was struggling to cope with normal day life, I could try to do things about the house, I was getting worked up, getting stressed out, getting angry. I can't do any housework because I will break things if I try and put plates into the dishwasher and they don't sit properly I'm liable to throw the plate into the wall. I can't even do th the day-to-day -day things without a rage taking over and forcing you to just have to stop and stop and not be able to do things and ha accept your limitations. It's really hard. It's tough. It's mentally exhausting. I'm fortunate. There's probably a lot of people who would be a lot less fortunate and their wife wouldn't accept that. They would be complaining, you're home all day, why aren't you doing this? But she doesn't. She knows what it is and she accepts it and it supports me through it. Yeah. <laughs> been there for me through everything. Before the symptoms started, he was, you know, just a lovely, friendly, helpful, <laughs> perfect man really. After the symptoms started then obviously the depression hit um, and that was difficult and him losing his job was difficult. Um, it took us a long time to get any help with um, disability. Um, the mental side or the um, depression and, and that's not counted as a, as a symptom. Um, so once the physical side starts, then it's counted as symptomatic. So it does put a lot of pressure on you financially as well. I work full time. I'm the, the main bread earner now, and so I have to work. And there's times when I don't want to. <laughs> I'm, a, a, you know, 55 this year, and I'm finding it really tiring. So working full time is tiring. Um, I then come home and, and, you know, have to do the housework and the cooking. I know he'd, he would still do it if he could, but he really struggles. Um, so it, it does fall on me and, and, and sometimes that's frustrating. And obviously mood swings, they can be quite hard to deal with. I don't think he sees that I'm frustrated. Um, or how it affects me or how tired I am. And it's hard sometimes and I feel guilty then if I get frustrated with him because I know he can't help it. 
I think the mental health side is the hardest side to deal with. Physical side, it, it, there are medications to help with movements. Um, you can make adaptations for the for the movements. You know, there's lots of things you can do um, with the physical side, but the mental side is 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 definitely the side that is really difficult to deal with. And the earlier the support and um, the more support you have with that is definitely going to be more helpful. It's definitely starting to take more of a hold of David's um, moods and his um, personality is slightly different. Um, so I've been, I have been struggling with that. It's accepting that the person I married is not the same person um, anymore and I've not got the life that I wanted to have maybe. Um, you know, it doesn't change the way I feel about him but it's almost like um, grieving um, for somebody. Um, it's He's here but he's not the same person. That's how I feel at the moment is um, I'm grieving for the the loss of the life that we had and that we're going to have. Huntington's is a very mentally challenging condition. It is very hard to cope with the challenges. Um, obviously doctors will prescribe antidepressants and all these different tablets it's still just fighting symptoms nothing else there is no easy way to deal with it it's just there constant so obviously it's going to have an impact on the general well-being of anybody that's impacted by it